Hey everybody, what are their perilous tales? Battle Report, I'm back today with Agents Anderson and Duchovny. They, they didn't do so well against the Vampire Count, but we'll see how they do against the Wolfman. That's right, we're gonna be um, uh, taking on some packs of, oh, I don't know, lycanthropes, unusually large wolves, something like that in this mission uh, out in an abandoned farmhouse. Dog soldier style. A couple new team members will be joining the team because I don't know if you've watched the last one, but the team got mauled pretty bad. Um, and we're on to the, uh, version three of the playtest rules. So if you've been watching this series in order uh, and you've downloaded um, the previous incarnations of the rules, Planet Smasher games should have sent you a link to get the most recent copy of the PDF. Uh, if not, then go just download it again. It's all free uh, on the Planet Smasher games website. I'll link it below uh, so you can check it out. And um, yeah, I'm gonna be using the awesome new Schooner Labs Perilous Tales of uh, the accessories too. I got my little dashboards, I got all my tokens, my activation markers, I'm stoked. So we'll show you the table, we'll show you the mission, and we'll get this underway. Here I am all set up for some Perilous Tales. Uh, I got my collection of bad guys, we got some wolves, a young werewolf, and then the big werewolf, my D10s. My collection of heroes that I've assembled into a team. Um, now some changes for this edition, this 3.0, um, that that are worth noting. First one is to a general rule called last ditch. Once per game, the team can reroll like basically any one test, it's like a skill test, a horror check, something like that. Uh, but you only get one, so you have like a you know all or nothing sort of like rule where you can roll and try and and do something super cool um you've got your teammates uh your basic uh, two ap two skill teammates they all get one upgrade so i've got uh Duchovny here who's tough he ignores the first wound each round clancy who's a brute he gets plus three now to um engaged uh skill checks uh to do melee attacks and then i got tango and cash my two new fbi agents um who've been seconded to Duchovny and anderson uh, Cash has eagle eyed, which is like the old binocular skill. You can peep at um, threat markers. And then Tango's got Marksman, uh, which allows him to gain advantage on his shooting tests, provided he didn't move. Um, and plus four range to his shooting attacks as well, which is pretty cool. A lot of new threats and new sort of like um, steps and also the three differential. So the three, the three types of bad guys, lurkers, um, pack hunters, and um, aggressors have been sort of like redefined as well with a three-step process for they activate, but I'll go through that when we actually play the game because um, it's probably easier to demonstrate than to explain, but basically they have a default set of actions now that they will um, perform. So they attack if they can, then if they can't, they move, and then if they didn't attack in step two, then they will um, attack then. And then they all have a check state before those three steps happen. Where if they have like a special type like lurkers or whatever, um, they will they will perform basically a, a special action sort of at the beginning or they have to make like a test to see what's going on. That one's relevant during the game. So uh, we got our play area set up, still a 24 by 24 inch uh, two foot um, play area. Uh, and this time around we're going with an abandoned farmhouse, you know, dog soldier style. Because we're going to do werewolves, why not? Uh, anyone who wants to know where I got the sweet uh, already like distressed Humvees, I think they're H3s. I got them a Canadian tire. If you don't have a Canadian tire because you don't live in Canada, I don't know what to tell you. Uh, they are made by Kinsmart 2005 Hummer H2 SUT made under license. Um, they come in blue, uh, green, and yellow, and they're rad. <laughs> so <laughs> I think they were nine bucks Canadian. So if you can find them, I know someone's gonna ask, and then the farmhouse is an awesome Death Ray Designs farmhouse. Um, the trees and stuff here are made by, uh, what should we call it, uh, um, Greenleaf uh, Studio, or Greenleaf Train, uh, my buddy Adam, and then this mat is a Deep Cut Studios. Disasters, of course, made by Schooner Labs, uh, if you haven't checked them out, I did a Widget and Wonders on them, I think, just two weeks ago. Uh, and they give us all of our little tokens and stuff, including our threat markers, which is awesome. The area is done. Uh, we'll make this the hero's board edge. We'll make the far side the villain's board edge. And then we got to roll a d10 to see what kind of threat uh, arrangement we have here. So we're going with a two, which is standard. Right, so mixing up my threat markers, there's going to be one, two, three across my lines. Cool, there's going to be one in the building. So it's going to be one... I'll measure this afterwards after when I'm not holding a camera and doing this all with my stupid left hand. Now what's awesome with this DRD building is it fully opens up. Can I do this with my stupid left hand? Of course I can. <laughs> I got lots of practice doing stuff with my stupid left hand. Two, and then three, and the remaining ones are one, two in the middle, and then across the back edge again. So one, and remember they move in stuff two throughout the course of the game. So even though this looks very like regimented, these things can 
can come and haunt you as we as we learned against the vampire. <laughs> you never you never have a good time when these things start closing as the threat level gets higher. Do we have any objectives? So we have to roll to see what our objectives are. So um, each episode invites the heroes to complete up to three objectives. We're gonna try three, choose or randomly select three. Main objectives require the placement of objective markers. They're listed um, as such and have more specific names such as idle markers and the objective tokens. Some objectives require uh, to collect and carry objective tokens. If the model's carrying objective tokens killed, you place that token in base contact with the model before it's removed. If the model moves across or into contact with the drop token, place a token in possession of that model. So there are 16 now. There's lots, lots and lots. We're gonna roll. I, I can't do 2d8 because then I couldn't get the bottom one. <laughs> I couldn't get the original. So I'll roll d20 three times. I don't want to get too high. So I got 10, 14, and two. Destroy the idol. Call for rescue. And tell us what you know. Radio marker. We need an idol marker. So here's our idol marker. So something, something suitably evil. Uh, we need a radio marker that gets placed within... Call for rescue. Deploy a 30 mil radio marker or suitably suspicious piece of terrain anywhere within 9 inches of the vigilance sport edge and at least 3 for any other objective markers. So within 9, so it's got to be outside of 3 in the middle. I feel like doing it upstairs would be cool, but also incredibly difficult. <laughs> but maybe there's an old phone in the bedroom here. Uh, and that should work, actually. So let's do that. Mm, yeah, yeah, you know what, why not? We'll do an old phone in the upstairs. Next to this armoire. Let's put the radio upstairs, because it'll look cool. And then we have to get a confession token out of one of these um, these werewolves, I guess. As we kill it, it turns back into uh, turns back into a human. We have to talk to it. So objective marker: deploy a 30 mil idol uh, within six of the middle, and at least three ready for any other objective markers. Note if you have multiple objectives. Uh, for idols, this marker shared by all the objectives. After placing a threat marker during setup, randomly select a threat marker and place it in contact with the idol as close to the villainous board edge as possible before the game starts. And the model always counts as an unrevealed threat marker for the purpose of villainous behavior. The idol mark, so basically like things can spawn off of it. The idol marker must be targeted by hand-to-hand -hand and dynamite. All attacks against the idol have a minimum difficulty of six that has 10 wounds after which it's destroyed and removed from play. The first time in the game, the hero successfully attack the idol marker raised the threat by two. If we destroy it, we get three points. I'm gonna roll, there's eight uh, threat level markers. So I'm gonna roll a D8, and we'll count them left to right. So five, so one, two, three, four, five. So the middle one, perfect. And we'll just place it in contact. Oh God, Ash, with your left hand again. Why do you just, why am I bad at this? You'd think after making this many games. <laughs> so we'll just push that back. Into base contact. Be one again, it's always one. It's always the worst. The master's all like, I, I do it randomly and yet it's always the worst possible scenario. Um, 10 call for rescue, so this one's easy. Deploy a 30 mil radio marker, uh, anywhere within nine of the villainous board edge and it's three away from any other objective. So that's good, it's on the second floor. End of game, if a hero successfully interacts with the radio marker, the rescue's been called, spawn two minions, each five inches away from a random hero, roll twice, and as close to the villain's board edge as possible, note the threat level. When threat level reaches four higher than the noted value, or 10, the game ends. If the rescue is called, each member of your party alive at the end of the game scores a point to a maximum of three. So basically, if we manage to call it, uh, we go to another four turns, or um, threat level 10, and then everybody alive scores me a point, which is cool. And then finally, tell us what you know. Uh, we take the parlay action against a minion that's not produced a uh, confession token. Place a confession token on that hero. During the game, parlay actions have a minimum difficulty equal to the target starting wounds. End of the game for every confession token in your possession of a surviving hero. Score one point to maximum three. So we're going to talk to the wolves, I guess. So the parlay is a skill check, range one, minimum difficulty to the target skill, part of the target model within one. Has no inbuilt effect. So basically, instead of attacking people, I could try and talk to them. In this case, you could think of parlay as like trying to identify like what is weird about this wolf. Use this big D12 as our threat level marker, and then this set of three big D6s for our objectives. Um, and they'll start to score from one to three, basically. And then the end game ones can store on top. An abandoned farmhouse in the woods site yet for the game. So we're just gonna do uh, the basic location for a thousand cuts, unsteady underfoot, and disaster strikes. Um, and that's gonna mean that uh, our perils are are pretty common. They're not the they're not the worst. They're not the best. Um, but we're not we're not terrified of of just exploding. The master is one. The young werewolf is two. And then the three wolves are three, four, five. Our other basic victory points that we can get is the leader surviving at the end of the game for one. So if Agent Anderson lives, and then if we don't lose any teammates, we get a bonus one. But if the whole party dies, we lose one. So we have we can go to ten if Anderson survives, and we get all nine of these. 
We can go to 11 if nobody dies, which I find highly unlikely. <laughs> and it's pretty scary. He's a master, aggressive, 12 wounds and skill seven. He frenzies after making an attack. If there's another hero within two that is not yet activated, push this model two inches towards it and then make another attack. So if, if I try to outnumber him, he fights twice. Uh, the full moon, if this model wounds a hero, that hero is marked during a marked hero's activation. If it suffers misfortune on any skill check, kill the hero and replace it with a young werewolf. And then Red Vigor, if this model kills a hero, remove three wounds, because it's eating him. And Scent of Blood, if this model targets a wounded hero, it gets plus one skill. Uh, the Young Werewolf has Full Moon, Red Vigor, and Scent of Blood as well. And then the three to five wolves are um, four wounds, skill three, and then they get Scent of Blood for plus one skill. Um, the Young Werewolf is aggressive for uh, six wounds and skill four. Well, uh, we're going to have Cash hang out over here, I think, to try and spot some markers. Uh, everyone has to be within two of the board edge, but not against it. Uh, Tango, you're a marksman. You're gonna hang it over here, just in case things, in case things go horribly wrong. Uh, Agent Anderson, you will go up the middle, because we gotta get to that idol, I think. Along with Clancy, who's gonna be good at smashing things. Our forest park ranger uh, has, has, you know, let us know that he's here. And then, oh, Duchovny, you're gonna go with Tango? No, you're gonna go with Cash. Hang with Cash over here. And it's first heroic activation. Who wants to go first? I think the obvious thing is to say that we have Cash go first and he's gonna take a look at this objective. Number seven, okay. So that means it's gonna be a, uh, a peril. Just unsteady underfoot, so that's not the worst thing in the world. It's not gonna ambush us. It just means we gotta make a skill check if we end our actions over there. So let's take a look at the second one. Number eight, ooh, another peril. Okay, that's the disaster strikes, I believe. Well, he's gonna jump out of this over there, which is not terrible. There is one left we didn't look at, however. So that's him done. Now, we don't really wanna trigger that by getting within six of it, so I think Agent Duchovny's gonna go. Uh, if we do get within six in the middle, things are gonna get bad. So he's gonna start by moving. He's gonna walk four inches to here and not be within six of, you know, falling down. And then he's gonna go again and go four inches over to here. Both these fellas are done. Now, Anderson, you're gonna move. You have three actions. You're gonna move four up to here. And then you're gonna call your friend Clancy, who's also gonna move four. Now, the one bad thing about knowing that those two are perils is that this thing in here is probably gonna be a bad guy. Last action, I think you just wanna make Clancy walk again, but not go within six, because that's gonna be bad. So, we'll just walk to the edge of this and stay outside of six inches. Just outside of six, yep. Then it's Tango, he's a marksman, so he's just gonna walk and walk four to here. You can't shoot the idol, unfortunately, you gotta melee it. Uh, so he's just gonna walk again to there and be done. And then I guess it's Clancy's turn. I don't want to die, that's the problem. But he's gonna have to trigger this ambush, I think. To trigger the ambush? Mm, yes, just to see what it is. He's gonna walk six. Just up to cover, I think, like so. And this will be revealed. Number two. Oh, it's the young werewolf. Woo, so it ambushes and gets placed within an inch. End the hero phase. Clancy loses his remaining action. And, uh, we roll for threat. Well, zero, but of course there is always um, advantage on threat checks, which means it gets one die and then discards the lowest. You know there isn't a lowest. Uh, but it fails, the threat stays at zero. Zero result does mean that it goes to threat level one, however, for next turn. He fell is aggressive, which means he does not make a check at the beginning of his action. Uh, then he makes a villainous attack. He is skill level four. Difficulty, of course, skill level two. Uh, and uh, he is attacking somebody who's unwounded, so no plus one skill. But if he does wound Clancy, he will be marked. So let's see what the attack is. Fives, so one, two, three hits. Deer, well, three wounds on Clancy, and he's marked now, so that's worth... Worth noting that he could die. Come back as a werewolf. <laughs> so um, now his second action would be to advance, which he can't do because he's engaged. Uh, and then he already attacked in step two, so he doesn't make another attack. Well, next round. Hmm. Well, Clancy, I think it's time for you to take take it to the streets. But I, I really want to also just shoot people. <laughs> Who wants to go first? Hmm. 
If Agent Anderson goes, she could heal him. She can't unmark him, but she could also give him advantage during his attacks. It's important because if he suffers any misfortunes, like if he rolls any ones for his attacks, he dies and gets replaced with another young werewolf. So we need to pep him up. So we're gonna go first to Anderson and give him advantage. Four, so that's a pep talk. So then second action, she's gonna move within an inch, and then third action, she's gonna medic him. Let's go to a medic check. So six, she gets one, two, three, four successes, which erases all his damage, but he's got the he's got the lycanthropy now. All done. So I guess we go with him. He gets plus three dice. He gets five dice to attack, six because he has advantage. So he'll get to discard the lowest. Forgot. Misfortune is actually if the difficulty die comes up a 10. So it doesn't actually come up that often and the advantage doesn't actually help me. But I could still waste this guy, which is not a terrible idea. I think we try and go in with um, Cash first though, because he's got Marksman. Yeah, can't do it because he's engaged. So we have to go with Clancy. Oh, Clancy. I guess you just beat this guy up. So your skill five, six with advantage, but you discard the lowest die. You gotta do four wounds to kill him. Can you do it? Get mad, Clancy. Uh, stability five, so that's gonna be one, two, three, four successes, discarding the two. That's four damage and he wastes the young werewolf. In action, I think he just walks towards this, going four. Now Anderson and Clancy have both gone. We're doing okay so far, we could smash the idol. Oh, Agent Duchovny. I think his stuff's gonna start moving towards us. You need to get somewhere good. This is all stuff we don't have to deal with, but all of this is probably minions and bad guys. So Agent Economy's gonna go, he's gonna walk four to the edge of this, and then he's gonna walk to the edge and then up and over and just get to the get to the house. All right, your turn, Tango. You're gonna walk four on the corner of this Humvee that you just piled out of, and then spot this with Eagle Eye. Four, all right, we know that's a wolf. You wanna reveal somebody? No, we're just gonna hope the threat does it does it for us later. We're gonna go in with Cash, I'm sorry, with Tango rather. And he's gonna walk four. And then staying outside of six, because I think that's, oh geez, didn't we get within six of that? No, we just didn't. And we didn't have to, we can just go like this. Uh, we're gonna just come around and not go within six of that either. Not trigger anymore if we don't have to. So it's two dice with advantage now for the threat level. Misfortune, threat level doesn't go up. Well, it goes zero, which means it goes to two. Sweet, well. Ugh, ugh, new round. So I think we get the obvious out of the way. We're gonna attack. We're gonna try and smashify this thing. Agent Anderson first though. Yeah, he's gonna turn into a werewolf if I if I screw this up, so and we did just roll a misfortune, so it can't happen. <laughs> oh spotters. You need to go upstairs. You need to not deal with that yet. And we end our turn if we get this wrong. AJ Anderson's gonna go, she's gonna walk four into the house. Take off all these activation markers. She's gonna pep talk him again. Come on, Clancy, you can do it. I know you're all bit up and your eyes are turning yellow and you're screaming at yourself. Um, but but please don't, please don't go horribly wrong for us. And then, ah, she has one action left. I guess she could just move again. Just move around to here. Done. And then Clancy's gonna go. No, no, Ash, don't be an idiot. Do, do this right. We know what these are, that's a wolf. We gotta find out what these are. We're gonna find out what the big werewolf is because he's terrifying. We're gonna move and then move again. Tango, no, it's Cash rather. Remember that? Because it's like literally my son's name. Uh, and then Agent Duchovny, you're gonna walk over here and not lose your gun just to see this thing. Everybody's gone. You're just gonna wait. Actually, you'll move again. Move to here and then hold. All right, your turn, big guy. So you have advantage. Uh, you need to make an attack. You're at five dice because you're brute. Six because you have advantage. Because you got your pep talk. So let's see what we got. Don't roll a ten. Ooh, that was bad. Uh, so we discard that and we get two successes. I've got eight wounds left and we'll just target it again and see if we can do it. Remember, it's minimum difficulty six to hit this thing. Uh, so an eight and we hit not at all. It was terrible. All right. Uh, it's threat level two, so three with advantage now for the villain's phase. Nine, so one success, and that means the noose titans move each unrevealed threat marker. If there's a hero within 10, move it one inch towards the one nearest, uh, if else move it one inch towards the center of the board. So heroes within 10, so this one's gonna move one inch this way, which I means I'm pretty sure it's gonna pop next turn. No, not quite. Uh, there's a hero within 10, this one's gonna move an inch, whoop. 
which will definitely pop it next turn when he activates. This one's gonna go an inch. Uh, there is no here within 10, so that one's gonna go two. And these ones go center towards the center of the board, basically. Boop, boop, and boop. And then we apply the new Titans, sorry, the Threatening Overture, so plus one threat level. So threat level three. Remember the game ends, if everyone dies, we go to threat level 10. All new activations, so we really need to see what some of these things are. We know that's gonna turn into a wolf. Uh, so let's go with you. You're gonna walk your four just up to the edge here. And then peep this thing. Oh, that's the master. It's really just Tango and Anderson that can activate now and not uh, and not pop these tokens. I also realized that the, uh, the, the whatchamacallit, the spot hidden action now is two actions instead of one. So it's worth noting that I shouldn't be able to move and do that, but it was one before. So we're just gonna, we'll make it a wash and we'll play through. These are the little things you notice when you get to a new edition. Um, so Anderson's going to pep talk both these fellas. So they both get advantage and then she's gonna go look out because she won't trigger any uh, actions. It means that when he does an action and spawns everybody, uh, he'll be he'll be ready to rock and roll. Um, yeah. Oh, Agent Dukovny. Everyone's gonna spawn. Like, I need to try and slam this thing again before everything pops because this house is gonna fill. Like, literally, the wolves are gonna resident evil through the windows right now as soon as he makes an action. If that's a wolf, too, I don't know if it is or not. I know that that's the master and the young wolf are there, so it probably is. Um, so I want as many people to look at it as possible. So uh, Alpha's gonna go, go rather, he's just gonna look out. I might as well move back actually. He'll move back to there so you can actually see Agent Dukovny as well. And he'll look out. Mm, go all the way to here, you might as well. And look out so you can see everybody. So these people are wasting the wolves no matter what. And then Dukovny's, like the first one of these two, will, the act will trigger the, the, the the, the thing and I don't want to trigger the master right now I'd rather trigger two wolves so we're gonna go with him he's gonna activate and he's going to just smash and then it's gonna trigger both these threat markers it's his advantage so he'll be at five dice six discarding the lowest and it's minimum six to try and smash the idol or I don't know explode the, the werewolf charm so seven uh, we discard the one and we get one two successes so we're gonna do two damage six and then both these triggers. So this triggers into a number four, so a minion, so a minion, minion wolf, and number three. Literally, the dogs Resident Evil their way through the windows. And that will trigger um, the ice peeled from both these guys. Ice peeled from Tango first, who gained advantage for his pep talk. Uh, he didn't take a shooting action this turn, he didn't move either. Or he did move it actually, uh, so he'll just get it from the pep talk. Uh, he won't get the skill die. But, oh no, he doesn't get a skill die, most remarks, but never mind. So he just gets one for making a range attack. So he's, and he can make it even when they're engaged. So he's gonna get four dice discarding the lowest. Uh, they are skill three, so that's the minimum difficulty there when this rolls. Uh, relevant, but he hits it four times anyway, and that's just gonna waste it because only has four wounds. And Agent Anderson gets to go. She's skill four um, and in minimum three, but I think cover is gonna take away my advantage or disadvantage. Four dice, minimum three again. And it rolls a three and gets one, two, three damage. So it's got one left. Nice try, Agent Anderson, but now it gets to fight. Well, now we roll for the villainous turn. Well, three, so with advantage. Uh, two fumbles, but two, oh no, it gets a misfortune. Never mind, nothing happens. Your results, we get a threat level four at least. Aggressive, he doesn't get the, the, the scent of blood because we've got uh, Clancy no longer wounded, but he will attack at skill three. And nine, no hits. Clancy's okay. Oh man, new turn. Okay, well, we've gotten lucky with these markers so far. Ugh, Clancy, I want you to kill everything you see. <laughs> Agent Anderson all seems to kill everything she sees. So two markers down, three markers down, but they're creeping towards us now. You gotta clear off. Yeah, so you're gonna pep talk. Then you're going to take a step and engage both these, so the idol and um, the dog. And then you are going to stab at skill four. One wound, see if you can blow up this last pooch. Really seven, she gets one success, and that will kill him. Sit, oh, I should have interrogated it first. I'm an idiot. I talked to all the dogs. <laughs> I'm such a dummy. Um, yeah, well, I didn't. So I guess we go with uh, Clancy. He's gonna act, and he's just gonna start making some actions. Manage, please don't turn to Young Werewolf. Uh, seven, so that's one, two, because of the crit. Uh, that's it, so two more damage. It goes down to four. Try again. 
forest ranger werewolf. Oh, we got a werewolf as a friend now. Uh, minimum six, so that's only one, two hits, and that takes it down to two left. When Duchovny activates, we know it's gonna turn into a giant werewolf, so <laughs> we just look out with both these fellas, I guess. Now, nah, one of you has to go upstairs. You're a marksman? Yeah, you wanna go ice? Somebody wants to go ice peeled. I think Dakavi's just gonna go ice peeled before that thing jumps on him. So you're gonna move back to here and then go ice peeled. Then this guy's gonna head up the stairs. It's going four, because he's gotta go call for rescue now. Find a phone, find, a, find somewhere to charge your cell phone battery. And then two and then two up the stairs. So like to here and then up to here. It's gonna go ice peeled and that's gonna trigger the boss man. Oh no, he's not quite in. Mm. Do we just do it anyway? Just walk up and go ice peeled? No, because we end the action if we move. Uh, I think we can go ice peeled and then move. So we'll go ice peeled and then move in and hope this doesn't end the world. And it's number one. So here comes the big wolf, Burr, the alpha, 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 alpha. And then both these guys get to shoot. Don't fight anyone, fight Takavni because he ignores the first wound. He might turn into a werewolf later on though. You never know. Um, so his free round of shooting. He gets uh, three dice because it's a shooting attack. Eyes peeled. Uh, he's going to get one success and do one damage. That is 11 left. And then from our man Cash over here, uh, he gets one as well. Takes it to 10. All right, new round. Uh, we just got to survive at this point. So five dice for the threat check. Ugh, okay, so that's going to be... Oh, minimum difficulty is five still because of the number of people in play. So it's only gonna get three successes. Crawling Chaos, everyone makes a horror check and then apply news titans. Uh, so everyone makes a horror check. So for Agent Duchovny, he's skill two. He's okay. Uh, for Cash, uh, one, he's okay. For Clancy, nine, he's not okay. He's gonna run. Oh no, we need you to break that thing. So he's gonna run towards the deployment edge and he's gonna go, I think it's six. Can't see the bad guy right now, so he's gonna go four. And be like, nope, I hear howling. Oh no! Anderson, eight. Uh, she also takes off and can't see anyone. She's like, nope, forget this. And then for uh, Cash up top, he's got two dice and he gets misfortune and fails no matter what. So he's also gonna go four. Goes down two and then back two. They hear the, they hear the master show up and just freak out. Um, so then we apply. News Titans, uh, so, every, oh sorry, actually sorry, the threat goes up by one more. It fails anyway, uh, because the master was revealed. So it's at, we're actually at threat five right now. Because it automatically goes up when he's revealed. Everything moves an inch because of the News Titans. And nothing pops right now. Uh, and then we go up to threat six because we get two threatening overture. You need to call that phone in, otherwise we're not winning this. Uh, cause I forgot to, to talk to people. <laughs> okay, well, Dukovny's not wounded, uh, but the master will attack. Kill seven, uh, he'll mark if he does any damage, and then Red Vigor, he gets to kill somebody for three wounds back. Skill seven, minimum difficulty two here. Uh, so a seven, he gets one, two hits. Uh, minus one does one damage. Oh no, but we're marked! Within two inches of anyone else, he doesn't frenzy and then fight again, and we're back to a new round. Anderson realizes what's going on and says, go, get back upstairs. <laughs> so uh, two inches and two inches, tells him to take a walk back to where he was. And then is he in range? Yes, she can tell him to go again. So to the top step, it's gonna be two inches. And then we're just gonna do this awesome thing we can do and just have the second floor be revealed. Whoa. And he'll move two inches towards the next there. Day. He'll just go to there. Next action, she's gonna tell uh, Clancy to just walk and head back to the idol. You're in charge. You're in charge, Agent Anderson. All right, well, Agent Duchovny, you need to talk to this werewolf and do some investigating. And uh, yeah, you're gonna get a get an investigation marker with your first action, and then your second action, you're gonna try and break away. So minimum to really seven here. Two dice needs one success to do it. Nine, we got it, sweet. So we get to walk up. And back up four, but we're just gonna back up to like, yo, come get us this way. <laughs> Chase me. We're gonna start blasting there. Uh, get him, Tango. You're a marksman. Manage because he didn't move. Let's see what we got. 
Uh, nine, that's nothing. Uh, you don't have the advantage. And then trying again. Uh, three, it's minimum seven though, so one damage takes it down to nine. I, you are shooting a werewolf, and he's very hard to kill. <laughs> so, uh, you got one uh, parlay marker on it. There, we have one parlay marker. We can't get another one off of it. And then I guess we go with Clancy. It's not saying, do it, smash it. So you've got skill five, six, because you have advantage. No, you were talked to, and then he was talked to twice. So you don't have advantage. So just skill five. Gotta get two to kill it here. Minimum difficulty, six. Uh, the 10 is double hits, and then another one for 11. So you smash that thing. Bam! So we get three objectives from smashing, or three points from smashing the idol. Finally, we're gonna walk and head over here and then interact to call the radio. Conveniently, uh, we are at six. If we go to 10, the game ends anyway, but if it's it's plus four anyway. So it's, regardless, we will uh, end the game and the number of people alive will give us our, our VP counts. He's got one action left, so he's just gonna walk again, get in front of Agent Anderson. Everyone's gotta get out of here now. We smashed the idol or found the, the ancient book of, of lycanthropy or something. <laughs> On this turn, uh, they are gonna roll seven dice with advantage. Ugh, it's getting bad. Uh, so seven, and then it's one, two, two successes. Um, so that's the new Titans again. So everything moves forward one, and then we're plus one threat level to seven. This continues to tighten. Everything moves towards us. If it's at a line of fire. And then, uh, yeah, we go up to threat level seven. Game's almost over. Right, villainous activations, the master. <laughs> he's going to be aggressive, which means he's going to fight if he can. He can't fight, so he's gonna move towards the closest. Chase Agent Duchovny, and then try and attack him again at skill seven. He's wounded, so skill eight. He's terribly wrong. Well, but he fails, misfortune. And that's it, so. Wow, it's, that's impressive that we were alive. Um, on to a new turn. Stop, he's gonna move back, and then onto the top scare. Harrison's gonna go. She's gonna tell Clancy to get down there. Go help. Go help her boyfriend. Well, were they dating in real life? I don't remember. Anyway, uh, first skill and then second skill, she'll just tell him to move again. Get with an inch. Last one, she'll move herself. Pilot the door four inches. And then Clancy's gonna fight. Please don't turn into a werewolf. That would be terrible. <laughs> He's skill five. He's not pep talked. Uh, so minimum seven. So one, two, three, four. Oh my god, everything. One, two, three, four, five, six. Takes another three. Clancy. Oh, you know what it is? This is the moment where he starts to get all wolfy too, and the two werewolves have to have a werewolf fight. Totally what's happening. Last action, do it again. Make the stabs. Uh, minimum seven, so just one, and that'll take him down to two. Really should have interacted, but I, oh no, I can't, because I've already gotten a, a marker off of him. Uh, so Agent Dikovny, he's skilled two. Do I try and fight? If he fumbles, he dies. But even if he breaks off and pumples, he dies. Oh, this is terrible. Mm. Yeah, no, you just try and fight. <laughs> you gotta do two wounds here, bud. Skill two, see if you can hit him. First one, nothing. Second one, hit him. Uh, nothing, minimum seven. Cash, Cash, what do you wanna do? We've called for help, we just need to stay alive at this point. So Cash is just gonna move four, and then move four again, and head back to the truck. Go to eight as long as nobody dies. No, we're gonna go to seven as long as nobody dies because we've got three for each surviving member, four for nobody dying. Yeah, we'll go to eight. We'll go to eight if nobody dies. We could do this. All right, well, it's eight dice now for the prep phase. Uh, so minimum five because of the people on. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six. In the shadows, each master removes three wounds. Oh, now he goes back to five. Uh, then select the hero with the fewest friendly models and then three of them of the, I don't know, uh, spawn a minion within one. So this guy's too far away. Uh, I think he's the furthest. So we spawn a minion back by this. Uh, then apply crawling chaos. Uh, so everyone makes a horror check and we apply new titans. So for him, oh, don't fall over. Please don't fall over. Please don't fall over. You pass, you're fine. Uh, for him, he's okay. For Clancy, oh, he falls over. Beefs it, because he's freaking out. Uh, for Agent Anderson, beefs it as well, so she's gonna run, because she's not engaged. Uh, that's the closest she can see. She runs back in the building. Wah! And for Tango up top, no, that's Cash. Yes, Cash. 
also beefs it. Uh, can see out that window at him, so runs back into the bedroom. <laughs> He's freaking out. Then we news Titans again. This one's gonna come up. This one's gonna head into the woods. This one's gonna move through the woods. And then this one's gonna move through the woods as well, because they're all moving towards the middle if they can't see somebody. Who goes to eight? Oh my gosh. Game's almost over, but things are going horribly wrong. Here's what happens at the end. It gets super squirrely. Okay, well, <laughs> you're just gonna come back down the stairs. So to here again, and then four to the bottom step. This one's gonna go. She's gonna tell you to run. Going four. Then she's gonna move. She's gonna tell you to run again. Going four. Then she herself is gonna go four at the door. Oh, you poor son of a gun. You need to kill him with guns. But you gotta move first. Do it, try and break off. Try and break off. Minimum difficulty three. Doesn't get any successes. Uh, you might as well just attack. Yeah, you might as well just attack. And you hit once, new wound. It's got three left. Interrogate it, I'm an idiot. Right. Oh, we have to stand up. Process two, that's all we can do. And then over here, we'll try and fight, I guess. First one. Uh, an eight will hit once, take it down to four. Don't roll that 10, try again. 10, two wounds, take it down to one. No, two actually. All right, villainous turn. So nine right now. Oh my God. Uh, 10 actually dice because, sorry, nine dice because of advantage. So five, nine. And the difficulty is still minimum five. Uh, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. What's wrong? Move the two unrevealed threat markers furthest from any hero, seven inches towards the target hero for them. Each meter removes a wound, then apply from the shadows. So he's gonna go to fully healed. Uh, unrevealed, we're gonna go seven towards the target, which is gonna be the one they can see. So this one's gonna fly over here. Uh-oh, that means everything starts to shake. Uh, and then it's the furthest ones. Oh no, so it wouldn't be this one actually. It would stay where it is. It would be these two back here. And they're gonna go towards the closest they can see. So seven. So this one's gonna fly over to here. And then this one's gonna fly in the room. Three wins again, it goes to five. Cause we're going to, from the shadows, then the furthest away from anybody. Gets another minion. It'll be you again, another wolf shows up. He moves an inch. Uh, this one's gonna come out here now towards him. These ones both move towards these guys. This one's gonna come to there. It's running over here, we get a nine. Oh my gosh, the game's almost over. We just gotta hold out here. And if we can talk to the dogs, it'll be great. The dogs and don't die. So, we, oh no, everyone has to make a horror check too. Oh my God. Okay, Duchovny, you're okay. Uh, for Clancy. He's okay. Uh, for you, you're okay. For Cash, okay. And then for Anderson, she's gonna run away. Guaranteed. No, she's okay. I just realized uh, Parlay's a skill check. He might actually not have parlayed yet. Uh, he needs to roll a seven. Yeah, that's a minimum skill check. Uh, he gets it with a seven and nine. Well, let's see if we can score some more VPs here at the end. You two, can you can you do it? Uh, you're gonna try, Tango. So talk to that dog. Minimum three. Oh, he beefs it, but he wasn't wounded. Try again. Gets that time. So he's gonna learn something about you. Now Anderson needs to do some fancy footwork so we don't trigger these all. So she's gonna move. If she ends outside of six of them, she won't uh, trigger them. So she's gonna go one and then three and just end up over here. That should put her outside of six of all of these. So they won't go off. Nope, we're good. Then she's gonna pep talk him and then she's gonna tell him to run. So take a walk, bud. And he's gonna jog over to there and that'll keep him from triggering this as well. Didn't any heroic actions within six. So now, you're gonna go, and you're gonna take a walk, and you're gonna try and interrogate that last one. Because you're within five? Yeah, you are. So just inch away, and then you'll try your interrogate with your second action. So minimum three. You also get it, sweet. So we're gonna get those VPs as well. And it's your turn, big fella. You can do this. You're half werewolf. You get five dice, six because of advantage. Can you kill this master? Are you the alpha now? This is like, uh, like Jack Nicholson and Wolf at the end. This is a, that is the worst movie reference. Okay, so minimum seven. Uh, one, two, three, four. He's down to one. And he tries again. Do it, kill him, finish the master. Uh, minimum seven, you get one. And you do it. Bam! So the threat goes down by two to seven.
slew the giant werewolf. Okay, well that, that brings Duchovny back into the game. He's gonna walk four. And then four again. Eight, eight. what happens? Seven. So one, two, three, four, five successes. We'll put it at, from the shadows, each master heals wounds, they're dead. Then select the hero of the fewest friendly models within three and spawn another bad guy. Uh, fewest models in three, it's gonna be you. So Duchovny gets a wolf jumped on him. Bark, bark, it's a horror check. So for you, uh, you pass. For Agent Anderson, uh, you fail and run away four inches again. Oh no, back to the threat markers. Duchovny passes uh, for Tango. Passes, super passes, and cash passes as well to nine. News Titans, and he moves up towards the nearest thing they can see. And threading overture back to eight. He attacks, all right, they're all aggressive. Uh, he is unwounded, so he doesn't get pack on her, so just skill three against Uh So that's one, two, three wounds. Oh no, wounded actually, another die. Uh, yeah, another one, so he's at three left. Guy, targeting him. Uh, he is unwounded, so just skill three. He gets one, two, three as well. Cash, and then the tango. A uh, seven, so one, two. Dear. All right, well, bad things happening. Um, and let's see who's gonna get out of what. Ugh, Agent Anderson, you need, to, you need to start helping people. Um, but you're gonna trigger all of this. You can't get away, it's within two inches of you. There's nothing you can do here that's gonna trigger if you go. So, you guys are on your own, really. You can't even move Clancy. Clancy's gonna not trigger it though by moving his four this way. And then four again. Uh, Agent Akami, you're just gonna attack, I think. No, we're gonna go with the guys who won't turn to werewolves if we attack. Oh, we're within six. So it's gonna be you. Do you hit? Uh, that's a uh, one, two, three. That's three damage, not bad. And then you can try again. Oof, but you fail. Luckily, you don't turn into a vampire or a werewolf. <laughs> one left, and then you'll go. You're gonna be at disadvantage though, so you can discard the highest to try and kill this this one. Ugh, and then try again, I guess. Uh, so discard the highest, which is your crit, but you still do one damage and you kill it. That triggers this marker, which is seven. It's the one where you might all fall down all the time. So skill check for you. You're okay, you didn't fall down. Oh no, you didn't You didn't fall down. So you get knocked down by the quakes. The rogue activation, so it's nine dice now, because we're at threat level eight. So that's gonna be five, nine, because it always had advantage. And minimum five still, but we roll a five. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Uh, so trap is far again, move the two uh, unrevealed markers furthest from any hero, seven inches towards the target hero of each of them. Each main removes a wound and then apply from the shadows. So uh, that one stays. So these ones are gonna go here and here and then here. They all just move towards them. So Agent Anderson just gets jumped on uh, and then and there's no way for her to get away from all of those. And then we spawn another minion for the model with the least number of friends within three, which is gonna be her. So another wolf appears and attacks Agent Anderson. Oh, this isn't good. <laughs> okay. So yeah, when we end an action, we might fall down. It's gonna cost him two to stand up and he's engaging a friend. So I think we start with you and you can help him up for one. And then I think you just shoot for another one. Or melee. Yeah, you might as well move in to gain advantage. He might fall down again, so we're just gonna leave him for now. Uh, we're gonna go with you though, you're gonna move in. And then you're gonna melee with advantage. That's six dice in that one poor hound. Cause you're a brute. And then we've saved, We for the whole game we have our last ditch. So if he beefs it and turns into a werewolf, we should be okay. Not that it matters, cause his werewolf powers are strong, man. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Just bah, explodes it. Agent Takavi can go. Uh, I think we just go on lookout. So we're gonna walk to here and then eyes peeled so that we can shoot. Another hound appears over there. And then last but not least, you're gonna attack and you've got advantage right now because you have a friend. Into that hound. So three dice, discard the lowest. 
uh, to get rid of the two. So that's going to be three damage. Goes down to one. And then skill check to see if you fall down from the earthquake. Now you're fine. And then you attack again with advantage. Finish it off. You do? Oh, sweet. It's Agent Anderson. Uh, I guess all you do is eyes peeled? No, because you can't shoot because you're engaged already. So you attack this one, I guess. Four. That's all you can really do. Uh, difficulty nine, but you get two tens and just kill it. Oh, don't mess with Agent Anderson. But then all of these reveal. So it's eight, six, and this will be another, yeah, another minion. So one more hound. Disaster strike, she takes a huge attack and then a thousand cuts. Everyone just jumps on her. Dual seven attack against her. Uh, so seven, so that's gonna be one, two, three, four damage. And then she's knocked down automatically. A thousand cuts goes off. It's skill three attack and remains in play. Uh, so skill three, minimum four because of her skill. Uh, she takes two, three. All right, and then it's uh, it's nine dice now. Ten dice, actually. Sorry, we're at nine. Because uh, it's the last turn. Roll one of these. Uh, so six. That's going to be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So so the whole gamut again. Move two unrevealed threat markers for within seven within seven. So everything's revealed, and then each minion removes a wound, and then apply from the shadows. Uh, the person furthest away gains another bad guy. Ugh. Makes a horror check. So you, uh, you're okay. For Dukovny, okay. For Tango, okay. For Cash, okay. And then for AJ Anderson, who is currently knocked down, nothing can really happen with her. And she fails anyway, but she's stuck. So she's just down there on the ground. Um, and then it's uh, News Titans. Everything's already moved. And then it's Threatening Overture. We go to 10. And then they all attack. Does Agent Anderson die? Uh, so advantage for all of these because of knockdown and outnumbering. Uh, one, two, three, four. She's got one left. And then the other one. One, two, three, four. Agent Anderson gets eaten by wolves. End of the game. So there are four party members left, which means we'll score three from Call for Help. And then we've got one, two, three for three. Um, uh, three for the uh, the interrogations because we parlayed three times, and yeah, we uh, we lost Agent Anderson though, but everybody else got away, and we got nine out of ten for our VPs. So how do we do for our threshold of victory? B, a tale fit for telling. We didn't get to ten plus. Not a truly heroic performance. We need Agent Anderson to survive for that. But holy moly, we killed a lot of werewolves and then got back to the car and ran like hell. So there we go, another perilous tale complete. Agent Anderson getting mauled by wolves at the end of it all. Uh, unlike uh, Agent Duchovny, who usually gets mauled by all the wolves. Um, and our, our unfortunately infected uh, Duchovny and Clancy, both going back for, for, you know, I guess, bad reasons. And that's actually going to lead to, I think, a neat next adventure. We're going to do the Mimic. One of these one of these characters is now infected with lycanthropy and the Mimic is actually a really cool way of us um, representing that because the villain in this case isn't revealed when you reveal your uh, when you reveal your, um, your your marker number one. It actually, one of the heroes becomes the villain. So I'm really excited about this. It's going to be neat uh, and we'll try that in our next episode which you'll see in two weeks. So going back to the FBI, someone's Someone's got the lycanthropy. Someone's marked. We don't know who. Could be Scratch, could be Bit, could be Clancy. But we'll have the same crew return for the next adventure, and we'll see who uh, who, who turns the, the full moon turns into a monster later on. So thanks for watching. We'll see you for more Perilous Tales. And once again, you can download it in the link below from Plant Smasher Games if you want to check it out. See you next time for more uh, Perilous Tales and other indie games. I'm Ash. Have a good one. I hope you enjoyed that video. If you uh, want to support the channel, of course, like and subscribe and hit the little bell below so you get notifications when I post future content. I do post stuff seven days a week. Uh, if you want to support the channel um, further, you can, of course, buy a t-shirt through Spreadshirts, um, buy a measuring gauge or objective markers from Deathbird Designs, um, or, of course, most importantly, there is Patreon. Patreon is what makes all this possible, uh, keeps the lights on, pays for the studio costs, pays for the equipment, model costs, and everything else, and most importantly, um, puts food in my kids' bellies and a roof over their heads. Uh, uh, big thanks to everyone past, future who supported me. Uh, I do this stuff because of you guys, and of course, I will continue doing it as long as I can.